Okay, so this is the mesquite tree here. I'm out near Mustang. Off of 183. Kind of just on the edge of the hill country of Texas. Not really hill country. South of Austin. And this is a mesquite. I think a honey mesquite to look at the bark. And you see the bright red color of the pods. And a lot of them are dry enough to where they're just falling off. You can see them on the ground. And I've got part of a bag full. It's definitely slow food. It's not as quick. If uh, the place were treated more like a orchard and the grounds were clear, you could lay down sheets and go along with a stick and knock the right mesquite pods down on the sheets and then sort from there. It's not a bad way to do it. Right now I'm just collecting the low hanging fruit, walking around. Beach casual. Going to watch out for the fire ants and I think I just knocked a tick off of me so I'll watch for those tonight. But uh, like anything else in the woods you got to be careful. So if I can fill this basket up it'll probably be in the neighborhood of 10 or 15 pounds of mesquite flour some of which we're going to use for molasses, some of which we're going to dry. And hopefully I'll get other folks here to help me so that we can do a lot of it. Um, this is pretty much the process. You reach up, if it kind of falls off in your hands, it's ready to go. Yeah. And what you're looking for is almost perfect. You see those little blotches? I would be careful about that. That's probably just sugars coming out, but there's a mold that grows on this that looks a little bit like black spray paint that you really want to avoid. So since there's so many of them and they're free, I am very picky. But notice how they're real easy to get off the tree. If you have to yank very hard, they're not ready yet. But see, that's about a perfect mesquite pod. A lot of red, decent amount of red and purple, which tells you that the sugar content is pretty high. Uh, and you can see the bark there. And that's uh, just a nice mesquite, nice healthful tree.